So we've all been there. Your phone rings, you answer it, and then you realize it's a robocall. Well, yesterday we showed you actually the worst of consequences mm -hmm. that these calls could have for some victims. Now today, we're putting a face to a robocaller who's responsible for millions of these calls. with the Solar Research Group. Hey, it's Robert here with Solar Research Group. Hello, this is Joy Solar Research Group on a recorded line. I'm not a debt collector and I'm not a, a salesperson. Hey, Nick, yes. it's Brendan Keefe. We talked on the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh sorry, I'm fist bump. the government? What did they do? You know, unfortunately, my counsel advised me talking about this. So. You have nothing to say to the millions of people that were called I mean, off the do not call list? Well, I mean, is that true? The people were on the do not call list, however, it was all permission-based market, opted in market. So no one was called without their permission? Correct. A call uh, soliciting money from you, the sale of goods or services, is generally going to be illegal if you're on the do not call list, unless you give them permission in writing or you have a pre-existing business relationship. And I would love to tell the whole like, facts of the story. It's not worth 7.6 million to me. I just want people to know that, like, I've been really, really uh, affected by this, financially, emotionally, but it's not going to stop me. If you're smart and you do it, and then you tear down your operation and you pop up again somewhere else using a different IP address, you could get away with this, I believe, virtually forever. Coming up tomorrow on Mile High Mornings, we'll hear from the Federal Trade Commission about what they say they're doing to end robocalls and why it may not be as easy as it sounds.